Today I have a Pi Zero Raspberry Pi computer. This is the smallest of the Raspberry Pi computers and also the least expensive. As a result it is particularly useful for use in electronic projects. It has all the GPIO connections that the larger Raspberry Pi computers have. However, on this board the headers haven't been soldered on. This makes it a little more difficult to connect to. So, in this video I'm going to solder on some headers to make it easier to add add-on boards or to connect to your own electronic circuits. Here are some header pins that I'm going to solder on. See they just pop into the top of the Pi Zero, turn it over and then they can be soldered to the back. It can be a little tricky to solder the headers on because you have to keep them straight when you solder them. Otherwise any board that you put on top will be at an angle. There's various ways of holding it into place while you solder. You can buy some helping hands such as these. Or a slightly better version is this one which uses adjustable arms. Whilst these are useful for certain components I find they're not so good when you've got headers which have to be precisely positioned. Some people like to use blue tack to stick it down. Uh, the drawback of that is that the blue tack can tend to pick up little bits of solder which you don't want getting on your board. So I prefer to use something that's about the same height as the component you're soldering. In this case I've got a piece of Lego. So I've just placed the Lego down and then solder, place the, the Raspberry Pi board on top. They're not quite the same height but it should be close enough. I've got my soldering iron here. As you can see I've got um, a reasonable quality one but really any cheap soldering iron will do. Do need something to clean the tip on. Quite often they come with a, um, a sponge which is just dampened or you can use um, one of these wire tip cleaners. And of course you need some solder. So. The important thing about soldering and headers is to keep it as straight as you can. The best way is to solder two diagonally opposite corners. This will allow you to make any adjustments before you solder the rest of the pins because once you've soldered them all making any changes will be very difficult. So the solder needs to be, soldering iron needs to be in contact with both the pin and the um, the metal contact on the PCB. Then you take the solder in, hold it for a little while and then remove them. There's the first one done. And now doing the diagonal, diagonally opposite corner. And now it's time to check to see how straight it is. As you can see it's fairly close. Um, there's a slight gap at this end, probably not enough to, to worry about but just to demonstrate how you can just gently heat it up. We're just going to press gently on that. I'm not going to use the this time and hopefully that will just straighten it that last little bit. As you 
see that's much better nice and straight now many header balls should fit straight now it's a fairly simple task to solder all the rest Don't be afraid to go back to one if you haven't got quite enough solder on. You can see there are fumes coming off this and um, you should be careful not to breathe too many of these in. You can get extractor fans but I find just moving my head away, letting the smoke clear and then coming back to it. One thing that this is doing is, is just moving a little bit around so I'm going to actually use my uh, helping hands here although it's not required. This one um, a standard comes with two, which have got the plast the sh shrink sleeve in on to protect the board. The other two I added separately, but I'll just use the these two for now. You do need to uh, regularly clean the tip to stop too much solder building up onto it. Now turn the board round, solder the other side. As you can see, that's the header now soldered in place. And that's it. It's now ready to wire your own circuits, connect any hats or add-on boards. Here I've got one of the Raspberry Pi Sense boards. As you can see, just line it up, push it on. 
again and fits quite nicely and then just gently pull it apart to remove it Or, if you're building your own electronic project, you can use jumper wires such as these. Which you can just push onto the appropriate pins. And then remo be removed when they're no longer needed. So that's it. I hope it's shown that actually soldering the headers on here is not too difficult and it will greatly open the opportunities that you can do with this board. Thanks for watching.